We all know what it's like to have bad memories, whether it's the memory of a bad breakup, for instance, or getting food poisoning, or what's worse, the memory of a traumatic experience during war. But what if there was a way to artificially prevent the return of an unwanted memory? It turns out we've been able to successfully do this in rodents recently, but this begs the question, how do you manipulate a memory? In this case, we would have to go and actually look into the brain and find the brain cells that hold on to a specific memory. Unfortunately, memories don't exist in one corner of the brain. They exist as a sort of constellation of brain cells interacting with one another simultaneously, what we call neural networks. For instance, the neural network involved in recalling the memory of a breakup uh, might look like this, whereas the neural network involved in recalling the memory of food poisoning might look like this. What we did in this case is that we introduced a fluorescent protein into the brains of rodents so that we could actually visualize the brain cells that were involved in holding one particular memory. That memory in this case happened to be that of getting a couple of mild foot shocks so that the animal formed a fear memory of that particular environment. We began by looking at an area of the brain called the hippocampus, which we've known for decades is involved in learning and memory. We found in this case that the hippocampus acts sort of like a switch. So for instance, when we stimulate the brain cells in the top part of the hippocampus that hold on to a fear memory, that actually managed to artificially suppress the fear memory. Whereas when we stimulated the bottom part of the hippocampus repeatedly, this surprisingly enhanced the fear memory itself, so the animals froze more in that case. So, what does this all mean? At least in mice, it means that we found a way to artificially turn the volume up on a particular memory, or to turn the volume down on that same memory in this case to get rid of fear. Imagine sometime, hopefully in the not so distant future, where we can go in and artificially activate positive memories to alleviate symptoms associated with depression. Or imagine being able to go in and actually turn down the emotional oomph in a negative memory to alleviate symptoms associated with PTSD. My hope is that the work that we do in rodents provides some kind of blueprint for future interventions in humans. And I know that this all sounds a little bit like science fiction, but with each experiment that happens in this burgeoning field of memory manipulation, I'd argue that this is actually becoming more and more science fact.